for today's lesson, we will be discussing about evaluating functions. So how do we evaluate functions? In evaluating functions, all we have to do is to substitute the corresponding value of the input to our function to have the corresponding output. So meaning, we're just substituting values to the variables. So let's look at this example. Evaluate the function f of x equals 3x plus 1 at the value of x which is equal to 3. So we're asked to evaluate, that means you have to substitute the value of x which is 3 to the given function. This is now our input and we're trying to identify what will be the corresponding output of the given function if x is equal to 3. So all you have to do is to substitute, so this will become f of 3 meaning we're substituting 3 to the variable of the given function. So we have 3 times 3, then plus 1. Simplify this, we have 9 plus 1, or f of 3 is equal to 10. Now given that the value of x is 3, the corresponding output of the given function is equal to 10. Now let's say we have x is equal to 4, so we're using the same function, so we'll do the same thing, substitute, so f of 4 is equal to 3 times 4 plus 1. Then we have to simplify this, so we have 12 plus 1, or f of 4 is equal to 13. So if the input of the function is 4, the corresponding output of the function is equal to 13. Next, let's evaluate the function f of x equals 1 half raised to x at the value of x which is equal to 2. So instead of f of x, let's now write f of 2, meaning we're substituting 2 to the variable of the function. So we have 1 half, since this is raised to x, that means this will become 1 half squared or raised to 2. Now, if a fraction is raised to a certain power, all we have to do is to distribute it to the numerator and to the denominator. So, this is just 1 squared over 2 squared. Or, if we simplify that, we have f of 2 is now equal to 1 fourth. So, if the value of x is 2, the function now will be equal to 1 fourth. Let's say we have x is equal to 4. So, we'll do the same thing, but this time it's f of 4 equals 1 half, then raised to 4. Again, we're just substituting the value of x given to the variable of the function. So, all we have to do again is to distribute. So, this will be 1 raised to 4 over 2 raised to 4. So if we simplify those values, we have 1 over then 2 raised to 4 is 16. So if the value of x is equal to 4, the corresponding output is 1 over 16. Another example, evaluate the function f of x equals 5 raised to x minus 2 plus 1 at the value of x which is equal to 2. So again, let's substitute. So f of 2 is equal to 5. Then we have here 2 minus 2, then plus 1. Simplify this. We have 5, then 2 minus 2 is just 0. So 5 raised to 0 plus 1. Now let's simplify it even more. So 5 raised to 0. So any number raised to 0 is just equal to 1. Then we have plus 1. Therefore, f of 2 is equal to 2. So given the function, if the value of x or the input is 2, the corresponding output is equal to 2. Now let's have this example. So as you can see, the function given now is a piecewise function and we have to evaluate it at x equals 0. So if the given function is a piecewise function, so we have to identify which of the following sub-functions should we use to evaluate. Now in order to do that, you have to look at 
the given intervals. So we have x is less than 2, we have x is equal to 2, and we have x is greater than 2. Since the value of x given is 0, that means you have to identify is it less than 2, is it equal to 2, or is it greater than 2. So you just have to choose which of these interval is true for the given value of x which is equal to 2. So obviously we know 0 is less than 2 so we will be using the first sub function which is x plus 2. Again, we choose x plus 2 to evaluate since that will be the given function if x is less than 2 and our value of x is 0. So we will write here f of 0 is equal to then substitute 0 to x so 0 plus 2 or f of 0 is equal to 2. So for this piecewise function if x is equal to 0 that means the output or the value of the function will be equal to 2. Let's use the same piecewise function but this time x is equal to 2. So again to identify the function or the sub function to use in evaluating piecewise function you have to look at the interval so is the x given less than 2 is it equal to 2 or greater than 2 obviously the given value of x is equal to 2 so we will be using the second sub function which is 2x squared minus 5 so we have now f of 2 is equal to then we have 2 times 2 squared minus 5 so this is just 2 times 4 minus 5 so f of 2 is equal to then we have 8 minus 5 or f of 2 is equal to 3 so if the value of x is 2 then the given function is equal to 3 so last example Let's use the same piecewise function, but this time, x is equal to 4. So again, you have to identify which sub-function are going to use if x is equal to 4. So obviously, x is greater than 2, or 4 is greater than 2. That means we're using the third sub-function, which is square root of x plus 1. So we have f of 4 equals to square root of 4 plus 1. So this is just square root of 5. So we cannot simplify it even more. So f of 4 now is equal to square root of 5. So that is how you evaluate if the given function is a piecewise function. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about evaluating functions and see you next time.